Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civilization VI as Brazil. As Agro-Brazil, because we're going to war. Taking out Alexander. Um, go ahead, next turn. Yeah, we don't have a massive military force, but it's pretty strong. Pretty well upgraded, pretty pretty good in the grand scheme of things. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and move up here and group with that guy here in a moment. Actually, it looks like you could group with him now, so let's do that. There we go. Mechanized Infantry Army. Nice. 102 melee strength. That is pretty solid. Alright, everything looks good. Next turn. Okay, sorry. I mean, you are my next target, so I suppose you denouncing me is, is fair. Speaking of you denouncing me, actually, I should make sure I can declare war on you. Uh, I could declare supplies war. I do have a caster's belly, so that should be fine. All right, all right. I'm a warmonger. Go away. I want you. What are my caster's bellies? Form a war. War of territorial expansion. Um, must have two of your cities within ten tiles of two opponent cities. Warmonger creators reduced by twenty-five percent. Mm, that's nice. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's what we would do. Cool. That will work. Because really, Cairo and Halab might be all we care about from you. I suppose Homs and Brussels would give us a little bit of a safety net. Maybe even Hatton. Maybe. We will want to move probably this machine gun over here and this one up to there. Just to protect these these border these frontline cities, but other than that, not too worried about. It. In fact, let's see how big your army is. Uh, overall, dom domination. Uh, Seven twenty-two is so not nothing to laugh about. So I mean, you have something floating around out there. All right, new unit needs orders. Uh, don't go to the observation balloon. Come on now. Right, go ahead and attack the city. Seventy-four health. And you as well. Seventeen pop on the city. Wow, I hadn't noticed. All right, and you're gonna take the city. Done. Will I get both these builders? I think I will. Come on, let's go. Alright, now you are going to remove the feature. So where's this going to go? Maybe here? Kind of curious. 11, 23, and 2. Ah, they went to the machine gun, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with any of those getting that boost. Keep city. Yes, 12 pop now. Wow, we dropped 5 pop just from that, but 6 districts. So yeah, we'll definitely keep the city. Um, yeah, just go ahead and just... Prepare some of this other stuff, this little stuff, that's fine. You guys finish off Pidna real quick. Go, Mr. Tank. Boom. Sorry, Alexander. Sorry, not sorry. All right, anti-tank. Um, I'll well, just come up in this area somewhere. It's, you're just kind of staying near the front, which is fine. We'll get you some buddies to make you an army soon enough. Keep the city. Pidna, yeah, we'll keep it. It's not a great city, but it does give us more uh, aluminum. So strategically, it's very valuable. And same thing with you. Just kind of build something for now. All right, so... I think that is all I wanted to take. Do I even care about this one? Is there anything here I want? I mean, some silver is a thing, but these are probably going to expand to get the silver anyway. Nothing really here that I would care about. 
I mean, the only reason to take it is just to, so he doesn't have it, but I don't think I'm that worried about him. So no, let's go ahead and see what piece we can get. Make peace. Let's go ahead and make this deal more equitable. Oh, you literally cannot accept this deal. Oh, probably because it's the same turn I took your city. All right, never mind. Never mind. We'll, we'll come back to you next turn. We're done for now. Uh, you guys just chill. Actually, you know what? Um, oh, we're not going to be right this second, I don't think. Is there any Arab cities right on... My scrolling things keeps getting locked. Right on the coast. Brussels is close enough that I could send my battleships over to take care of Brussels. Homs, technically, one, two, three. Yeah, I could take Homs as well from my battleships. Not, not take it, take it, but like whittle it down and then send another force in there to take it. Hatton, not quite, um, which is fine. So let's move our ships close towards um, Brussels. Since the uh, ironclads move slower, we'll go ahead and move them ahead of the battleships for now. That way the battleships can catch up. And actually, as these uh, battleships get past Madrid, I'll be able to make another that other armada. And another one right there. So I'll have my four armadas go right after Brussels. Actually, five more armadas. That'll be um, pretty amazing. All right, next turn. Things are starting to, shake, starting to shape up pretty nicely on the military side of things. I don't think we have the highest yet, do we? Pretty sure we do not. No, we're not even close. We're in fourth place at the moment. Nope. We are in... I don't know why Gilgamesh is up there. Alright, so now you will uh, give me things. Um, let's just get rid of all of this for a second. And make sure I'm getting everything I want. So, I want... You, you, you. Everything that says seed, I want. And then you can keep the things that don't say seed, which is fine. So that's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that should be eight cities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take all of your gold. Let's just say a thousand, because I know you only have 470. Uh, how much gold per turn can I take? Oh, let's just say a thousand. Take as much gold per turn. Okay. Uh, let's take silver. Jeans. Well, let's just be a super greedy. Why not? Sure. Let's take your war of the newts. <laughs> or with the newts. Sorry. Uh, what about... No, I don't care about your silk. That is literally everything I can take from you. No. Yeah. I mean, I could take more cities, but... In fact, I'm pretty sure I could. I could literally take all your cities. I mean, he's going to give it to me. Might as well. At that point. Alright, sure. We'll take it. You were literally left with nothing but a city. I mean, we could have destroyed you outright, but... I mean, come on now. We're not uncivilized. Alright, you're going to give me... Cotton and one gold... For a defensive pact, no, sorry, dude. We might actually have to go to war with you at some point. Plus, I don't want to get drawn into another war ahead of schedule, so. Sorry. But we're still friends, man. Seriously. All right, so which ones did you give me? You gave me those two. So that's the one you kept. Okay, fair enough. I mean, these are a thing. They're not amazing, but they're a thing. I mean, you gave me a couple of luxury sources to uh, support them, so that's fine. I should really try building an air force. I will get right on that. I do want to have an Air Force at some point in this game. Once we get this hangar going, we'll, we'll look into it. Haven't actually used an Air Force in uh, any of my Civ 6 games. Used to use them all the time in Civ 5, though. Combination of Air Force and... The good thing about computers is that they do what you tell them to do. The bad news is that they do what you tell them to do. It's actually pretty accurate. I actually uh, do computer programming, so I, I know that it's very accurate. Uh, no, I was going to say the, um, you know, I used to just send, you know, 
artillery one direction and my airplanes would go another or they would do like leapfrogs or something like that you know just different strategies with survive haven't done any of that recently all right production really don't care about any of you cities truth be told so how about you guys just work on something that'll make you happier a street carnival right doesn't matter i guess we'll put you somewhere central just in case I decide to build a zoo. I don't know where I'll build the zoo and stuff to help out these other cities. But we'll go there. That's fine. You as well. Might as might as well do the street carnival. Make people happy. Let's go right next to each other. Each other. I don't care. Choose research. Uh, now I can do the combined arms. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's an airstrip, not an airfield. Uh, which I already have the airfield. Right? Aerodrome, and that's just building the hangar. So airstrip. Is that something you can build? No, engineers. Something engineers build. All right. Well, I could do that though. So. I do need to find the uranium. Hmm. Actually, you know what I can do. Let's take combined arms. Hopefully, we can remember to keep an eye on it, and then let's go. Where would I want to build an airfield? Maybe over here somewhere? Or airstrip, I should say. Or actually, maybe over here. Oh, that's an idea. That is actually a pretty good idea, I think. So why don't you see if you can purchase a... Wait, what? Is it because you don't have this? That is it. So you can build airstrips. That's the one I'm... Yep, yeah, airstrip. So let's just buy a military engineer. Purchase. Sure, why not? Get that knocked out as quickly as possible. Get an airstrip here and then we'll, that'll be fine. Alright, choose production. Same thing with you, actually. Oh, nope, you can't do the street carnival. You need more population. So and on that note, then let's do, I guess, a granary. Get you a little bit more population cap. Uh, go ahead and do the watermelon. That's fine. You just prepare things. I don't care. All right. So you guys, is it faster to go the other way? No, it's faster to go around this way. So you're gonna come around down here. You as well, and you as well. And then you guys go ahead and move on as well. Alright, so you cleared out one forest. Uh, I guess we'll just go clear out this one. I suppose I could clear out the jungle as well. Eh, let's do the forest. More production. I don't know that I need the growth right this second. Alright, um... Next war? Is it time? Hmm. Anything I got coming out that'll change anything right away? Not really. What is this? This is a core, so that'll group up with that other guy. Don't have my ships in place yet. I can give them another tick or two, I suppose. Actually, you know what? I just realized. My ships cannot go through this way. They'd have to come all the way down around through here. And even then, they would not be able to get through unless I got open borders with either Japan or England. Which I don't think that either one of those things would happen. You know what we do then? We go to war with Japan. Forget Arabia for just a moment. Probably could do both, but let's get people set up on Japan and we'll do Japan first and then we'll figure out if we have if we're strong enough to go after Arabia. Japan is actually pretty strong, if I remember right. Yes. Yeah, pretty strong. He's up there. The combination of the two is more than I have, so Alright, so you guys do want to line up though for Cairo. That's that's still fine. So you need to be Five tiles away. So one, two, three, four, five. So you could actually sit in there. That's good. And then you, one, two, three, four, five, could sit here. Is that fine? Is that what I want to do? One, two, three, four, five. Man, you could almost sit here. You get six range, but you don't. Wait a minute. Why do you still have five range?
Maybe it's just lingering. We'll just stick you up here right next to me, and that's fine. We'll stick a couple of the, uh, the, uh, machine guns right in front of you. Mechanized, yeah, we'll be fine with that. Tank, in fact, you can actually go up there as well. Let's go ahead and get you healed first. Uh, builder, actually more builders, nice. Let's come hook up the uh, aluminum. You actually could get up here as well. So why don't you get kind of on the fringe over here? No, never mind. Get over there. We'll put the mechanized in the middle on the road and we'll put the two machine guns on the right. So they can be in the forest. All right, you go ahead and heal up. Uh, you, where do I want you to go? I can see you down here to pop something so this guy gets more grow or gets this thing built faster. It's an idea. But actually, I think I'll just send you down here to pop one of these things. I'll just come down to that jungle. That's fine. You only got one build left anyway. Actually, that's the thing to look at. How many builds you got? Two. So you're good. So you can hook up both uh, aluminum. That'll be fine. Need more amenities. Yes, yes, yes. Working on that. Housing, I understand. Peace. It's fine. What else? Yep. Everything's good. Alliance expired. Well, I mean, if you want it, I'll let you come get it. But I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to I'm not going to start it myself. One more turn on the conservation, which will give me, well, naturalists, which, yeah, and then, uh, well, actually, I could go after the uh, the whole touristy stuff if I really, really wanted to. I just got out of a war for my people, and I'm not fighting for my people. You're kind of silly. One copy of a strategic resource allows you to produce and purchase units requiring in any city. Oh, that's a really nice one to have. This does give me the three envoys. Um, allows builders to plant woods. Woods in your territory that have never been removed. Gain one appeal. Oh, okay, cool. You just want me to give you stuff. Sorry. Don't care that much, and you're denouncing me, so. Too bad. If you were more of a friend, maybe. Here's a society to emulate art sciences. What don't you have? So you like me now. Okay. Uh, I guess. I think. No, you don't really like me like me, but... Alright, so that gives me three more envoys, which is nice. Um, I mean, the copy, one copy of Strategic Resourcing is pretty cool. Everything else looks fine. I don't know that I want to change anything else. The discounts on unit upgrades. Yeah, We're about to get some destroyers and things. We're going to keep using that at some point. Still want the gold. Uh, you know what? I have plenty of gold coming in. I think actually swapping over to Machiavellianism might be a pretty decent idea. Let's try that. Let's see how much this drops me by. I'm at 184. Right. Let's just say enemy spies levels reduced by two in your okay, no, that's fine. One eighty four, what do you get? One thirty seven, eh, lost me fifty, that's a lot. But I think I'm still okay. And getting the spies going better, quicker, things like that will uh, I think in the long run be more beneficial. Really need to make sure India doesn't just sneak out a, a science victory here. That's that's the only thing I think that can stop me. Alright, uh Reform Church, don't care. What do I want to go after? Um, 
I'm never going to have a theme museum, so that's not going to be relevant in any way. And none of this other stuff is, is relevant either. So I'm not going to go after the... I don't think. I mean, I, I could swap over to that, but... Eh. Spies who still attack boost while being attacked again an extra boost. Well, that's kind of nice. I think I like staying fascist, so I'm okay with that. So is there anything over here that I care about? Or any of these other little bits and bobs? Both campus and industrial zone adjacency district or adjacency bonus was pretty nice. Uh, more production for support units. That would be good. Air units would also be pretty good at some point. Oh, I actually like this commercial up and harbor district the bonus. That saves me a, a, a card or combines a card. I can't remember if I have that commercial hub currently. I think I have the buildings and commercial hubs, but I am using the harbor district, which will this will give me a bonus there. So that'll be really good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take suffrage. Get that uh, get that card in place. Um, so you just got your two battleship armadas. Those are going to be very nice to go against Japan with. All right, so you're still getting uh, all the good bonuses. What else do I go with for you? Can I just keep building stuff? Are there any great people left? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Um, I can build a spy here just to kind of fill some time. But really, these guys need to be building ships, I think. Because that's what they're going to be doing best. Although an aerodrome right over here somewhere would not be the worst idea in the world. It'd have to go right here, though. Um, man, decisions. Well, you know what? We're going to make this decision next time. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on a cliffhanger, put a cut in here. I do appreciate you watching, and I do hope you join me next time. Thank you, and goodbye.